morning, everybody. Um, it's currently 9.15. And I'm just making this video to show you that I'm on my way to go get some Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. Um, anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to meet a lady that lives an hour away. She has a... Brush fire? Brush something fire. Shit. I forgot the name of it. It's that red box. I think it's um, base set or base set 2. She only wants $25 for it. Which is, I think, a steal. But it's open, which sucks even more. But, um... I noticed that there's been an increase in those boxes lately. They're the theme decks from back in the day. I think it's got, like, Charmeleon on it. So, I think that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully it's all the original cards. I never actually even asked her. But I'm hoping that it's... You know, I probably should have asked her that before I drove all the way up here. Like, I literally, I gotta pay a toll to get on this throughway, And then I gotta drive all the way an hour to go meet her. And I look, my eyes look like... You know what I mean? Like, I'm tired. I didn't want to wake up. This is the time I go, well, I'm, I'm at work already during the week, so it's like, this is early for me. Uh, I think every day, every weekend, it's just, I've been waking up earlier and earlier and earlier and earlier. I think it's just a habit when you get older you just kind of wake up earlier and earlier depending on your work schedule so like every day I go to work by 9 o'clock like I'm out of the house by 8 30 um, that's not early for some people but it's just a normal 9 to 5 for me so every day I'm out of the house and now I feel like on the weekends I'm waking up the same time that I would as if I was going to work I got really, really got to watch my speed this time because last time you guys were with me and we took a ride on the throughway, I got pulled over for speeding and I got it dropped down to a dirty license plate. I mailed the ticket in and what was that, two weeks ago? I already got the ticket back. They dismissed it. So thank you guys for liking and uh, subscribing because that would, uh, I said if you guys like and subscribe that they were going to dismiss the ticket, reduce the charges. And they did. Thank you. Appreciate that. How about um, how about all the people that actually watched last night's video? How many of you actually watched last night's video and stayed all the way to the end? If you watched the whole video and stayed all the way to the end after the end title screen, comment below yes. If you didn't, comment below no, and then go watch it after the title screen. Like the, you know I'm talking about the title screen where it says subscribe and like. Oh, wait, one more minute. If you didn't wait one more minute, you didn't catch 10 code cards. Sorry. I told you to wait. That's what happens. That's what the YouTube algorithm is all about. It's people clicking on a video and then not watching the whole video. It's different for other people. Like, some people might click on a video and say, Oh, fuck this guy. I ain't watching him. Excuse my mouth. I'm not watching this guy. He's stupid. And then other people might click on the video and say, Yo, I love Joey. He's awesome. I love watching his videos. He's real. Blah, blah, blah. But then, the people that are subscribed have watched so many videos that they just click through them and try to find where the code cards are. But I do it a little different. I... Well, I guess I'm kind of predictive anymore. I make my videos, and then at the, the end of them, I put the code cards in. But last night, I opened up an Elite Trainer box, and I tricked you guys because I'm selling the code card out of that box. And I gave you guys some Hidden Fate pack codes. And I gave you a Hidden Fate Charizard tin code. So, I said I needed to be on the throughway by 9.15. It is 9.18. And literally... Well, I don't know why I faced it that way. <laughs> the throughway is right there. What is going on? Let's flip, flip the camera, Joe. Let's flip the camera for everybody. Yeah, anyway. We are uh, about to jump on the throughway. I need a haircut today. 
I'm cutting my hair when I get home. Or actually, I'm going to go get my hair cut by some professional and make it look sick. And then I'm going to try to figure out what I can do with my bedroom at the moment. It sucks, man. I got the third, well, basically the second smallest. There's four bedrooms in my house. I got the second smallest bedroom. I used to have the second biggest bedroom. Third smallest, I guess you would put it. Um, used to have the biggest, second biggest room, and when I was like 12, 13, when we first moved into my house, I uh, traded with my brother because he had a bigger bed than I did. What the hell just happened? I don't know what just happened. I'm sorry, I had to freeze for a minute because literally our light was red and normally you get to turn the green arrow. Oh, shit. It's still shifting. You want me to romp on it real quick? You want me to romp on my gas real quick? I'm already going 88, like 89. Here you go. I don't know what just happened. I I can't do that. I can't show this. I don't do it all the time something that you do like to test the car out you test its limits you know what I mean and look you see we're doing 90 80 90 miles an hour look I just dropped down from 90 to 80 and that's why you don't do 90 miles an hour you got a truck pulling a truck getting on a tow truck yeah, let me say that again you got a truck pulling a truck getting on a tow truck Yes, that happens. It's sad, but it happens. I'll talk to you guys when I get to the exit, okay? Peace. And then, oh my God, I, I can't even record it. On this side of the road, there's a state trooper pulling over a guy towing a trailer with three cars on the trailer. What is this, like, breakdown day or something? Or just tow trailer day? Alright guys, what is up? It's freezing outside. Okay, so I haven't been this way in a long time. I'm going to the Walmart. You can see this huge Walmart from the throughway. I've actually been here before. They have an escalator in the middle of their Walmart to go upstairs. So, um, I met him at 10 o'clock, I told him. So, it's 10.06. You guys obviously can't see the time. My hand is like shaking because it's so freaking cold outside right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to go see if I can find some Pokemon from this Walmart. Doubt it. I don't even know where the entrance is. They're like Walmart's packed and it's ten o'clock in the morning. How crazy is that? Um, it's a brush fire box, guys. Brush fire. Um, and you guys know me. Uh, this guy, I love, I love, love, love meeting people. He was thirty years old. I'm um, thirty-four, and um, the way he was talking was making it sound like he was older than me. Um, I get that a lot. A lot of people don't know how old I am. I like to keep it that way. Um, I've seen a lot of shit. Been through a lot of shit. So, look at the size of this Walmart. This is just the front side, or the back side of it. Like, this Walmart has two entrances. There's a front side and a back side. Now I gotta learn how to park, because... Oh, I guess I'm good. Bomb! All right. I don't know why I just flipped that around. So, we're going into Walmart real quick. This is a two-story Walmart. It's got an escalator in the middle. I've been here in probably a good 10 years, so um, I don't know what to expect when I get inside, but oh, it's freaking cold. Let me uh, show you guys real quick. 
25 bucks. I thought it was the theme deck, but I'm not 100% sure. He, it was actually, this was the Shadowless theme deck. Shadowless first edition um, theme deck. I bought these two cards. Graveler and Sand Slash first editions. Um, I bought Neos. That's what... I don't know why I'm so big into Neo right now. But uh, all his Neos are... I, I needed some different Neos, honestly. Because these are all Neos that I don't have. I have a lot of them. Anyway. Like too long. Chancy. So, yeah. And then I believe the other side. I threw in some of those. Uh, this should be, yeah, Japanese. Just threw in some of these flip things. Tentacool, Stantler, Neos, Neos. Oh, wait. Team Rocket, Neo. New Genesis, New Destiny, New Revelations. Okay, so. Okay, cool. So I really, for some reason, thought. Okay, so in a way, I kind of just got scammed. He was a really nice guy, but literally charged me $25 for it. An empty box. I feel a little stupid. I don't like buying cards. Like I made a deal. $60 was for all the cards. And I thought the box was the theme deck. And that was $25. I thought I was getting a really good deal. So I'm a little upset. A little bothered. Like I could have saved 25 bucks. Um. I would have I would have drove up here anyway for sixty dollars for those neo cards. Um, people don't realize that I collect everything. I don't care if there's sixty cards for sixty dollars. It could be forty cards for sixty dollars. I'm gonna sell them and get my money back. And if I don't get my money back, I'm gonna figure out a way I am gonna get my money back. Um, there's plenty of ways to sell Pokemon cards that you can make a profit. Just for example, I have a shit-toed shitload of uh, base set two cards, and I, my my thing right now that I'm gonna do is put them in a binder. And um, please don't hit my car, lady. I'm gonna put them in a binder, and I am going to sell them. I'm gonna fill the binder up, and I'm gonna sell it, just like that. With all the spares, fifty bucks. I'm gonna make fifty dollars off like. 40 cards. That's how you do it. I'm going to go into this Walmart now, so I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, just like mine, there's absolutely nothing. So I literally found one pack of cards. Just one. You know what? The only reason I'm going to buy this is because there's a Hidden Fates card on the end of it. And that means that's where the foil is. If we got a shiny card out of a stupid Pokemon pack. Alright guys, thank you for coming along this journey with me today. I will uh, show you all the cards that I got when we get back home. I don't know if that video came out that greatest of me uh, showing you, but um, I didn't charge the GoPro. I forgot it yesterday. I didn't charge it last night and I was going to bring it today. I don't have a suction cup anymore, so I can't stick it to the window. So anyway, I'm pulling back up the driveway. It's now 11.30, oh, a little 11.23. Um, so yeah, we're going to go inside, check out what we got. Uh, somebody placed an order on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I don't really like... I don't mind doing that. I don't at all. But when you place an order on Facebook Marketplace, for some reason, it just doesn't show you what the person bought. It just says somebody placed an order. So... We'll figure that out when we get inside. I'm home now, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes when we get back to the desk. What's up, guys? So uh, I went home, uh, barely ate. 
I was gonna eat some lunch and then uh, I got asked if I wanted to go to Walmart with my uh, parents to go pick something up and uh, help them out with something. And I, uh, Jesse decided that she didn't want to ride with daddy so she went with them. So I'm gonna run to the dollar store real quick and uh, see if I can get my Rockstar Energy drinks and, sorry, Rockstar Energy drinks and uh, see if they have any Pokemon stuff. And then we're gonna go to Walmart, which I know I went yesterday morning, they didn't have anything at all, so um, whatever. Uh, might stop at Target while we're out this way, because uh, why not, right? If we're going to Walmart and Dollar Tree, why not stop at Target and see if they have anything, which is 12 o'clock on a Sunday, probably not. All the people already grabbed all the crap. If you buy something from a store and you're a resale, if there's four of them, buy three, save one for somebody else, I don't take them all, I just think that's really messed up, I get excited when I see just one product on the shelf, so, I don't know, whatever, that's you, um, just me, I buy stuff, but I don't buy it all, I'll buy all the cards from the dollar store, just because there's only like 20 packs, but, yesterday I gave that guy, um, one pack that I found, of Sword and Shield, one pack, and I knew it felt kind of funny, he went home and opened it, and there was a gold Zacian card in it. And I'm like, damn, a dollar. A dollar I paid for that pack, and it was a $40 card. That's crazy. But good luck. I mean, that's awesome. It helps him. It helps boost the morale when you open up a box, and there's about 80 packs of Pokemon cards in there. What's up, guys? How's everybody's day going? Um, so... I have really been trying to put an effort into making some videos and I have been failing miserably um, so I, I did a video the other day of opening up a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box with the contents were inside and I have the packs listed on eBay for sale because I really felt like that was um, way too much money I shouldn't even have opened it I shouldn't have even got it actually because uh, the guy was willing to give me $250 for my mystery box, and um, he was happy with what I gave him. So, anyway, I uh, I should have just got the $250 and called it a day. Um, besides that, it's done and over with. I bought the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box, and I got the contents for sale. I got somebody that... Uh, wants the the box and all the contents for $15 they offered me 50 well it's the bid is $15 and I have two people watching it so I know that it will sell um, most of the time when you have more than one person watching somebody's interested in it um, I got one person watching two packs right now um, it's it's tough you know five days it's a long time to wait for uh, to try to sell something but then again, that's my store, so I've come, I, I don't know how to say it, I guess in my mind, I, I know that what I have to do to sell stuff, all the other stuff I have listed is, um, it's been selling like crazy. Yesterday, um, I listed stuff, vintage, my custom vintage packs on uh, Facebook, and I had an order, so I, I went yesterday to Albany, let me backtrack. Saturday I went to Poughkeepsie, New York to uh, meet a guy and I traded uh, for a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box. You can see that video, the one before this. And um, me and Jesse took a ride. We stopped at a couple stores, but we didn't find anything. Literally nothing. Um, we found some Rebel Clash packs. That was about it. That was at GameStop. Um, Sunday I went up to Albany, New York, which is about an hour and a half hour and 40 minutes opposite direction from Pip Poughkeepsie New York it's uh, farther north and um, I bought a theme deck box brush fire theme deck box off of uh, a guy and he had it filled with uh, a bunch of different cards actually most of the cards that I wanted were Neo Destiny and um, he had Neo Genesis Neo Destiny uh, Neo what did I say? Neo Genesis, Neo Destiny, Neo Revelations, and yeah. So I grabbed um, I grabbed quite a few cards, which worked out because Sunday when I got home, I left early and I got home by noon. I got home by 11:30. Um, 
it worked out because by the time I got home, somebody else had placed an order for Neo Genesis uh, vintage card pack. I didn't realize that I had uh, still had one. Hey, there's a fox. I didn't realize I still had some left on a marketplace. I thought that I only posted one, but it looked like I posted 10 packs. I didn't have enough to fill 10 packs. Luckily, when I went to Albany, I, I could have filled another one. I, I think I have one more, but in order to, to fill the pack, I would have had to send a bunch of energy cards, and I don't want to do that. I don't want somebody paying $10 for a custom vintage pack and getting six energy cards out of the 10 cards. That's, that's just not what I do. Um, some people do that. Some people fill them up. You know, they'll tell you, oh, custom vintage pack, and then they'll fill it with four energies, and the rest are bogus cards. Um, my goal was to fill it. I have another thing also, which is an XY Evolutions 50 card lot that I sold, and I actually couldn't find 50 XY Evolution cards. I found 47, I think there was, and then I threw in a couple promo cards that were XY um, and Sun and Moon, just to you know give the person some some I think I, 47 was the total I was short three cards um, I feel bad but it's whatever um, I think I might even took the promo cards out and threw in like two or three doubles just to fill the lot I don't like doing that so what I'm gonna do tonight um, I have a meeting that I have to go to a group and um, during my group I'm gonna go check all my listings to make sure that everything is accurate because I went through this once before where I sold some stuff and I actually didn't have enough to fill the orders um, I went on there yesterday and I took down a bunch of orders or a bunch of listings that I I know I had sold stuff or I know I threw in that mystery box and I started fresh I started putting up new packs fresh packs that I have left um, it's just, you got to pay attention to what you're doing. And I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to sell. Because right now, everything that I have is basically gone. Um, I'm down to the nitty gritty. I'm down to about, I'm going to not estimate. I'm going to say, well, estimate, estimate, est guesstimate, guesstimate, that's the word. Um, I'm going to guesstimate that I have at least 10,000 cards. It's not all vintage um, I have a good thousand I know for a fact that I have a thousand vintage cards Wizards of the Coast cards um, they're not all the same though um, and a lot of them I would say a good 200 of them are damaged cards or very worn and played cards so eventually I'm gonna have to put a lot that um, sells just you know 10 vintage take picture of them just take a picture of all 10 cards and just do lots of 10 cards for like five bucks if I can get 50 cents back on each card I will be extremely happy I paid uh, roughly around two hundred dollars you know say twenty dollars or fifteen dollars in gas five dollars for the tolls and uh, 180 I think anyway doesn't matter just the, all that matters is that I get my money back that's all I care about whenever you're selling something you need to make sure that you get your money back um, I found myself getting discounts on a lot of stuff. Uh, I had a friend that was working at Target who would give me discounts on stuff. I had a, a friend that was helping me out learning different things to do online with shipping and packing to save money on shipping. Um, this weekend, I had so many orders that I literally had to put my own stuff and I didn't have anybody to... I couldn't go buy stuff because there's nothing at the stores and I couldn't nobody was around this weekend so I have eight orders nine orders in my car right now that I forgot the post office was closed today so that sucks because I should have mailed them out on Saturday I had time to I was just being lazy and wanted to get Jesse home and didn't want to take her in the post office which I should have because these four orders should have went out well today three days so if they sold Friday Saturday Sunday Monday they should have been shipped today um, but I'm gonna go home I got nine orders in the back seat of my car and I'm gonna go home and repackage them 
because I realized a lot of people don't understand. They don't realize how much stuff costs to ship. Now, I pay for 380 to 480 for everything I ship because that's just the base cost that I had in my head, you know, just that's how much I'm going to pay to ship stuff. That's how much I'm going to charge. Well, there's cheaper ways to ship. And I've been realizing that when people ship me cards in a little envelope with no protection, no nothing, that really makes me mad. And I always said I'm going to do better than them. But there are other ways to ship stuff that you don't need these big padded bubble envelopes that I'm using that are the size of a sheet of paper and I'm paying 380 480 to ship stuff. I could easily make more money off my shipping if I just changed the envelopes. It's that simple. Changing envelopes. What's up guys? Sorry I haven't been doing a lot of openings lately, but um I did make a video from this weekend. Hopefully you guys watch it and enjoy it. And I've been going through a lot of inventory. Like I literally have nothing left. So um I actually just did get a couple things today. I got four of these. Thanks to my dukes. And uh got them at Cracker Barrel, actually. There's a new store on the list. So, uh, we're going to check them out tomorrow. So, stay tuned. We're going to be opening up some stuff tomorrow. And uh, let me grab a code cards for you. Alright. So, in these code cards, I didn't even realize. You got some good ones tonight. I'm going to give you the crappy one fist. Detective Pikachu 4 card booster pack. Sil Valley box. Are you ready for it? Bam! Hidden Fates. And last but not least, Shining Legends. Old school. Have a good, happy, healthy, safe day tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace!